Another type of antenna is traveling wave antennas. These antennas use a traveling wave on a guiding structure as the main radiating mechanism. And the most important feature of this antenna is that they actually uh, they use it radio waves that travel through the antenna in one direction. So the difference uh, between uh, this antenna and the antennas we talked before is uh, other antennas act as a resonator and uh, actually they they send the radio they have a radio actually currents uh, traveling in both direction but in this antenna the current is only uh, traveling in one direction as you see here we can say two types uh, the first the first one is a helical antenna the name coming from the shape because it has the the wires each one to form a helix here as you see these are like wires and there's a reflector here let's say this is helix And the other one is a Yagi Uda antenna. In, uh, and this type of antenna is inexpensive and effective, and it's, it can be constructed with one or more reflector elements. So basically, we have here again a reflector, and you see the, the direction of current is here, it's forward direction. We go to the microwave antennas. Microwave antennas operating at micro microwave frequencies are known as the microwave antennas. These antennas are used in a wide range of applications. So when we say microwave frequencies, it shows that here yeah, we have a really high frequency here. And uh, they are called the uh, microstrip, as you see here. We can make this if you have a dielectric here and if you like a metal. And uh, for example, this is it's kind of easy to make. Imagine that uh, we have a metal here and it's covered by, you know, we have a dielectric and the, this dielectric is covered by a metal. We can, uh, you know, uh, put a mask here and like this shape, and you know, etch etch these parts. So then now now we can actually remove metal around this, and we, this metal stays here. So this is kind of you know, uh, microstrip antenna, and we can make them in a square shape, dipole. And there are lots of shapes that we can make here, as you see. And th these antennas are uh, has very small actually size; they're very small. Because you know the frequency is high, so the micro the the wavelength is, uh, of course, is small, and you know, yes, for spacecraft and aircraft applications, these antennas are known as uh, uh, a yeah, microstrip, as we told. They only require space for f uh, for the feed line, which is normally placed behind the ground and plane. You see, it's like this is this is the you know ground, here, the back of this dielectric. But it has a disadvantage actually. Uh, the, uh, these antennas are inefficient and very narrow bandwidth, which is typically a fraction of percent or at most a few percent. Yeah, like they have a narrow band narrow bandwidth. This means that like um, they can uh, you know they we can't use them you know in in a wide range of frequency. They just get for example one specific frequency. This is the disadvantage of this frequency. Here we're going to uh, make give an example actually, a real example. Then we see that which kind of, for example, antenna we use for RF application. We know Bluetooth application, and we know Bluetooth is uh, the 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 frequency of you know Bluetooth application is around 2.45 uh, gigahertz. So generally, we use four kind of antennas. The first one is wire monopole. Exactly, it's like a monopole we showed. It's it consists of a simple wire. And uh, it's, it's actually, you know, it starts from ground and goes, you know, high above. The problem, yeah, of course, we can understand here, the problem is, uh, you know, it projects above the PCB. So it's like kind of 3D, you know, it's not 2D. We have PIFA, a printed inverted F antenna, is like a monopole printed on a PCB. But it has a ground point and a feed point along the main resonance structure. The helix one is looks like a helix antenna. Again, uh, the problem is, uh, you know, it projects it projects above the PCB, and the last one is ceramic. Actually, the ceramic antennas are very small, and uh, that's one of the, you know, advantages of using this antenna. The electric field concentrated allowing the antenna to be made small while keeping a high resonant frequency. Actually, this is why, you know. So I can show this example here. These are all like Bluetooth devices. This is wire monopole, as you see. So it's actually it's not very good idea to have this 
sometimes we have because it that's the disadvantage it goes you know it's projects above the above our PCB sorry and uh, this is helix as you see this part it's like a helix antenna we showed it's like you know generally it's like this there's a wire here and like a reflector and this is a ceramic antenna which is really small as you see it's as small as a, a resistor actually and the last one which is used commonly is a inverted F antenna as you see it's like it this shape is like F and uh, we can see actually this antenna in this kind of chip as you see the chip is like LMX5252 it's a Bluetooth strip, and uh, as you see here, this is uh, our antenna. And uh, yeah, the dimension of antenna is 20 millimeters. Uh, basically, it's a proportional to you know to lambda. And uh, imagine that we have a frequency uh, equal to one gigahertz. Thank you for watching our video, please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rasoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The RF basic concepts and fundamentals course is provided free at our website. The courses are complete step by step approach with quiz. An examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, RASAF would provide the RASAF radio frequency certificate. The topics are chosen with advice from RF engineers in top industry companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom and Skyworks who are missing candidates with these skills.